I faked it until <laughs> I made it. And uh, Kevin and Mad Scientist Party Hour were the first podcast to join Riotcast. And um, and look at him now. He's uh, he's all he's all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like fucking ten years. How long have you been doing Mad Scientist now? It'll be ten years in December. Ten years. So that wow. means it's crazy for us, you know. And uh, Bobby Kelly was uh, called in a couple of weeks ago, and he said he said that uh, Franco and Chrissy couldn't believe how much they grew up. The, the <laughs> like, look, look, I mean, look at his mustache. How can you say no to that? Wait, I'm a man too, Rob. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, Laurie. We won't take anything away from you. <laughs> uh, but um, but Kevin, since so Kevin, when we first met, you worked for the Stern Show. Um, you weren't an intern, but what did you do for the Stern Show exactly? I actually did start as an intern. Um, I was Robin's intern, and then I was uh, Jason Kaplan's intern, and mm-hmm. then I got hired to kind of work on some of the ancillary shows. Um, like I, I worked on the Bubble of Love Sponge show. Oh, I wow. worked on Riley Martin's show. <laughs> <laughs> Treat. Uh, and then just handled like some back office day to day stuff, and they let me do a little bit of writing and stuff. So I got to I got to make little creative contributions here and there. Yeah, and now you're a, a regular on the Jason Ellis show. You're on mic. You're a co-host. Um, like that's awesome. Like that's really what you is. It's kind of what you wanted to do all along was be on the mic, right? Yeah. And I I, I moved out to L.A. I kind of just quit and was like, all right, this is a good time to make my move. Moved out to L.A. with no real plan, uh, no job, no friends. <laughs> that, part, that part hasn't changed. Uh, and then. I was like, you know, I don't want to, I don't know if I really want to do radio anymore. If you start with Howard, like, where do you go from there? But when I got serious for Howard and started working there, like I sort of discovered Jason Ellis and I was like, all right, well, I know Jason back from when I used to skate, like know of him. And I was like, all right, if, if anything would keep me in radio, it would be Jason Ellis. And then just by crazy fucking luck, just ended up working for Jason Ellis. Yeah. And, and he tortures you constantly. Like <laughs> a lot of shit. <laughs> I've actually, I haven't really had to um, do too much painful stuff. I did. Oh, you know what? I did uh, put my balls in sriracha. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that story that was going around that you could taste things with your nutsack? Yes. Did you, how did it taste? <laughs> uh, like burning. It was very, very bad. Well, so I remember once you had to like put, uh, you had to, teaspoon sugar with your asshole and put it into a into a mug for a porn star to drink it I, if, am i right on that was it close something like that yeah yeah a lot of stuff goes up my ass i smoke <laughs> weed with my ass once you smoke weed with your ass on the shot oh, yeah we we sucked it up with a turkey baster <laughs> and then i just shoved the turkey baster up my ass did it work did you get fucked up I didn't get fucked up, but <laughs> like, <laughs> I fucking I fucking turned my ass sideways and like tooted out weed smoke, and they saw the poof. <laughs> Take a shot of you then. That's all. And did, didn't they do something like they tasted you or something too? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done tons of shot collar things. We do like shot collar pictionary. <laughs> where other people have the controllers for your dog shot collar. So while you're trying to draw, the other team is zapping the shit out of you. That's brilliant. I love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So look at how far you've come. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we have, uh, I just want to point out to everyone that our show is now live uh, once a week, um, usually either Thursday or Fridays around 10 p.m. Um, so you can join us on, uh, YouTube. You can go to the whole podcast.com and take you right to that page. But we are now, not that we have anybody on there cause I just set it up today, but we're now tr- uh, streaming on Twitch also. So if any of you, uh, nerds, fucking nerds has a, has a Twitch account, go to Twitch, um, Go to the whole podcast and, and comment there. Let me see if this comment thing works because I can do stuff like this. There's already comments about Kevin. One is that Kevin looks like a real man with that beard. And then right under it, Kevin looks less like Ellen with the beard. <laughs> that was the plan. Right. You, know, you can only walk, walk around with statements. Well, <laughs> you can only walk around LA so many times with people asking you for your autograph. And you're, you can only say, I'm not Tilda Swinton so many times right? <laughs> before you have to just take a shot at facial hair. What do you get more, Ellen or Tilda Swinton? Which one? 
Uh, more Tilda these days. More <laughs> Tilda. <laughs> but since the beard, now I'm getting uh, Clay Aiken. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Clay Aiken when he tries to go like raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like adult Clay Aiken. I'm a badass Clay Aiken. <laughs> you are. You are, <laughs> you are a fucking badass. So, <laughs> so what's going? Like, what's going on? Uh, you're on uh, quarantine in LA still. Are they still shut down? Are they opened up yet? There's there's some stuff opening up. Like, uh, there's a couple restaurants near me that will let you in if you're wearing a oh, mask. Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they've opened up gyms. Or movie theaters, but they're kind of. It was supposed to be staggered and a very, very slow reopening, and I think I get the impression a lot of people are getting antsy, so they uh, they're sort of just kicking the doors open now. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly what's happening here. Um, and you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but you have to do the Jason Ellis show. You get to do it at home now, right? Yeah. So yeah, I've been working from home for the past three months. Really? <laughs> Weird. Like it better? <laughs> uh, no. Because I'm on a I'm on a bit of a delay. We're all on different IP codecs, so our feed is reaching each other at different times. Mm -hmm. So it gets kind of awkward. People talk over each other, and uh, it's we can't do as many of the bits we used to because it's tough with everybody not being in the same room. So I'm I'm looking to get back into the studio when they let us. Yeah, yeah. That I mean we've been doing it like this, but I I think we like it just because it just we can just finally just turn something on do the show and then turn it off because it was getting to be a bit much for people to all get together and go to the studio so we're, we're now going to start to see if i can get any different guests like this because my original thought was hey man everybody's home they're bored maybe maybe people who wouldn't normally do it would do it so far it's not working out that way <laughs> we're not going to keep trying i got an in with tilda swinton i'm going to just introduce you as tilda swinton <laughs> that, that, that would be <laughs> I'm trying to shrink <laughs> oh, I think that's how she talks. <laughs> yeah, that's we had J Lo on. Spot on. Yes, we did. We had J Lo oh, on very man. early. I gotta pull some of those J Lo clips. Those were amazing. <laughs> one of the best guests, and she even performed live for us. She was a goddess. Yeah, she was. She really was. She really yeah. was. So, um, I have a couple of things that uh, I wanted to to do with you involved in this, Kevin. Um, but. Uh -oh. Since we're on the topic of COVID, I just want to start. Last week, we didn't touch on it because we had uh, Fred Goss and Allison Quinn on. But this week, I want to touch on it because Mr. Peepee has been doing COVID diaries for us. He has been he can't join us this way. So instead, he's doing recordings for us. Um, and I was making fun of the fact last week that he sends us recordings. And the recordings are named after the location that he records it. I guess it's just the app that he does it in. So it would have addresses or it would have, uh, you know, Horace Harding Boulevard would be the name of one file. So uh, I would like to play the next one. This one's just called Glen Cove. So I guess he, I guess he took a ride. Hey, out. I guess he took a ride out to the island. He's getting closer and closer to us. Yeah, he only sent one this time. Uh, but, you know, here is um, here's Mr. KP checking He's going to record. He should record one from outside your house and then send it to you. So it has your address. on. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, dude, I'm just sitting in my office. Rob, I'm outside of your house. <laughs> I'm outside I'm of your Tampa. house. I'm outside. Don't come near me. I don't want to catch it because I'm older. And I'm more vulnerable. I'm, I'm going to rub my genitalia on your doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here it goes. Well, New York City is finally going into phase one from the COVID-19 on June 8th. Not sure when we'll enter phase two. I believe phase two is going to allow some of our workers to go back to the office. Both <laughs> like <laughs> or orifice. Can there be anything less personal than what he's doing right now? Like he's literally just giving us the actual news. <laughs> he's not nothing personal about this so far. Oh. As far as what's been going on in the last few days with this George Floyd and this protesting, yes, I was an avid protesting protester in my days, but in his days, he's an avid protester. He's I don't agree guy. with all the looting, destroying of the property, igniting police cars on fire. This should stop. You should have peaceful protesting. There it is. Peaceful protesting. Well, if, if that's not going to stop the riots, I don't know what will. <laughs> right now, everyone just stopped. Yeah, <laughs> that be or anonymous. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, it was it was weird. Like the, the week before, he sent like five. And then after that, he just sent one. I wonder, like, he probably was bummed last week that we didn't get to it, but it just it wouldn't have fit. 
you know, like Kevin, you know, Mr. PP, but in, yeah. that, in that case, it, it just wouldn't have fit. But, uh, you know, I, I want to get, and I'm sure right after the show ends, we're going to get, I'm going to get nine texts, but like, I, I want his take on Cole, like how it's affecting him. Not just like, don't just read the news. Right. More of a personal right, diary right. entry right. and not just a state of the union type. Right. Like it's like, you know, it is 72 degrees and sunny today and the riots continue. And like, you know, <laughs> it's really got to be fucking with his rubbing tugs. Yeah. You know what I want? I know. Well, he, he addressed that last time and he said that, uh, oh, I'm not going to go go there now. I'm not going to go there now. So, um, so anyway, um, what we're going to wind up doing is, uh, I want to get more personal stuff out of PP. So, you know, let he, he hears this. So I know without a doubt, it's going to come, it's going to show up soon. So, um, let's, uh, let's hope that next time Mr. PP gives us a little more, a little more information, you know, just a little more about how his life is going. You should just have my grandma do it. Last time I spoke to her, she told me the reason COVID exists is because Ricky Martin's gay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, is that real or no? Because I believe that. No, yeah, she did. She said, who's, uh, still, who's thinking about Ricky Martin? His grandmother. My, gra my grandmother. <laughs> I am now. <laughs> now we're all. <laughs> She's like, can you believe he lives on an island with another man and a bunch of kids? And I'm like, yes. That sounds very normal to me if I'm a millionaire. <laughs> she's like god's mad that's why we are oh, all god. getting COVID. Just ricky martin like ricky martin's a spark huh she gets yeah. that other people are gay too right uh, yeah but my favorite part of it all was like did you know that women marry women sometimes and i was like yep <laughs> very aware of that <laughs> so, oh like she's like breaking it down for you like yeah she's like what did you know shocked. you should have been like really yeah oh my god. she just keep she's the best she just keeps telling me like I'm getting really fat, but so is your mom and so is your godmother. And I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> sounds like Thanks a, for letting me in on it. She sounds like a treat, man. She really she's, I mean, she sounds like she eats treats the way that she describes herself. <laughs> <laughs> I, love my, I love my grandma. grandma. She's the best. She's so fantastic, but she has some fucked up views. And she's also started to be really mean to waiters in the last few years now that she's old. Oh, she's just like doing that now? Like, So she wasn't always and now like... No. She's she's like very short and Hispanic. She has no privilege whatsoever in this country. And so <laughs> out of nowhere, she just like was like, I'm white now. And she just started like going like this to people and calling them over. Calling them over. Yeah. Nothing's worse than that when somebody acts like a, a jack a jerk off to a waiter. Like a yeah. a unless people. it's yeah, unless it's my four foot nine grandmother. <laughs> You're just like, I guess I gotta go serve this little troll. Yeah, Rob. I thought you were gonna say nothing's worse than that when someone tries to act white. Someone yeah. not white. <laughs> white. Uh, nothing's uh, worse. Don't act white. Man. Get your own race. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's it's even like I'm over tipping anybody who delivers now because everything I'm getting delivered. Yeah, right. I yeah. do Instacart. I do. You know, uh, when we order food, I get something from like uh, you know, Seamless or Grubhub. Yeah, but Instacart I do for food. And like, I feel so guilty. Like, as I see, it's cool because you see the person shopping. So you literally see, you know, they picked my pop tarts off the shelf, and they, you know, like, I'm watching. I'm like, all right, they wear like a webcam. Yeah, no, no, but I think what they do is they have this little, uh, maybe their phone. As they pick the items, they just tap it all, and it's showing me live like what they're buying. As it's oh, so it's like a shopping cart. Yeah. So, but you see it like the okay, he yeah. just. And I'm watching. I'm like, why is it taking him so long to get the cold cuts? Like, is there a line? What's going on? Like, you Wait, just, why did you just buy extra small condoms? <laughs> <laughs> That's the substitution. If he picks the wrong thing, can you like send him a message? Be like, yo, wrong flavor or something. I bet like you that? could. I bet you could because there's a button. There's a button under it that says send him a message. But like, I don't know, man. The guy's like in a mask shopping for me, and we were like, dude, you should have got the 32 ounce fruity pebbles, not the 16. <laughs> <laughs> what am I, an animal? I just want no. strawberry fruit by the foot. <laughs> but if it's but if it were something like Wick or something where you need like or like food stamps, like it's very specific. So there is a time and a place to be that specific. Yeah, but like when you it you see the stock that's there when you order. So like I can pick everything. And then if it even gives you substitutions and it says like if this is out of stock, this might be low. Is this okay? Sometimes it's right on and sometimes it's way off. But if you do it, do it all beforehand, like they, they bring you pretty much everything that you need. It's very cool. 
but I'm over tipping them because I feel guilty. So I'm giving a guy like, you know, 25% of my work and order to shop, but he's not just delivering it. He's really shopping. So what I had been doing also is when I'm ordering food, I'll add a tip to the credit card, but then make it lower than normal and then give the delivery guy cash when he gets here. Cause like the delivery guy is the one doing the work, right? So you don't know if you just give a tip to the restaurant how they're breaking that up or splitting that up. So I just want the delivery right. guy to put some cash in his pocket. So give kind of double dip. Yeah, but then that. he's getting COVID from your cash. Right. <laughs> he's probably he's, he's probably spraying it down with life. Just so you know, you got you suburban guys are living the life. The hotel next to my apartment is uh been given over to the homeless. Wait, what what are you saying? Like literally? Yeah, the city gave it to the homeless. Is and it, not to not to families, it's to single homeless men. What? So been really what fun. Sorry, oh, I missed that. Oh, wait, right? So wait, right next door to you was a hotel. Yeah, and, it's like a, it's like a hundred feet from me. And it was temporary, or that's it now. I don't know. I can't get answers. <laughs> it's been it's really fun though to live near there. You, I'm sure you gotta go to Albany. What, Chris? So I'm sure it's doing a lot for Lori's self esteem. <laughs> Hey, what's up, girl? What's up? Wait, Kara was telling me that like now that they're wearing masks, she was like, "Oh, there's an article talking about how like men have to come up with new ways to catcall." And she's like, "Yeah, now people just tell me I look really cute in my mask." Yeah, I've I've heard that, and I've heard nice eyes. Even though, well, you have the mask on, but it doesn't cover your eyes. So that Lori's works. like, "That's the first time anyone's ever complimented my eyes." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but um, yeah, this, this is a good one. They're they're formerly homeless now, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now they're uh, living in a hotel. Yeah, that's a good point. So, so this is right next. So, a hundred feet from you is now a homeless shelter. So, wait, you said they gave it to the homeless. Like they didn't just like sign a deed over to homeless. So, no, they, they signed a deal with the city, and so they're all playing baseball. <laughs> <laughs> All these single male homeless individuals are now living in a hotel. <laughs> Car next to home play. <laughs> New York junkies. <laughs> so they have more money than the Mets. <laughs> it's true. They're probably better than the Mets, too. Yeah, I don't, I don't doubt it. <laughs> I think they're just dumping the homeless people around here in my alley. <laughs> <laughs> well, I call, it, I call it poop slime alley <laughs> because there's always puddles and you don't know if it's poop or slime right. and there I'll, I'll go down to get in my car and there there could be somebody jerking off there could be somebody smoking crack nice. uh, I, I my mom and my sister were staying with me here once and i got a reservation to go take them out to like a nice dinner and stuff so we got all dressed up we walk out into poop slime alley and we're about to <laughs> round the corner to my car and right as we turn the corner some guy is in my parking space and he blows out the biggest crack hit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it was like a Cheech and Chong bong rip. And he, he saw us and he was like, <gasps> fanning it. And I was like, ah. God. You get high from it? Fucking get in. Run, 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 run. run, run. Get but in. I think it's Kevin. Because when I went to Kevin's house years ago at a, a different house, I asked him where to park. And he said, you'll see homeless people there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the directions when you end the party invite. Yeah. You make a left at the homeless. homeless. They follow Kevin. <laughs> Kevin needs to stop feeding them like stray cats. That's probably <laughs> the issue. <laughs> now just bring them in that so I have somebody to play Mario Kart with. <laughs> <laughs> there, are, by the way, I'm just, so everybody in the shot in the chat. There are many racial jokes. I'm not. I'm not sharing one of them. So don't even bother. <laughs> it's not going down. It Is was it nice of um. What? Is it about Franco? <laughs> one actually is about Franco. But uh, it's, it's Are they all from Jeff Clark? No. No. Yeah, I was going to say it's it's nice of Jeff to be commenting in the chat room while Kevin's on the show. That's really nice of him to show yeah, support. I, yeah, I know. He came he came in. It's nice. He's, of, he's a great human. Yeah, he's a he's a great uh what would you say he's a he's he's a lackey on your show Kevin or would you say he's uh <laughs> like a, a gopher or like what's what's the term that you would use? Bootlicker? <laughs> Je Jeff is is definitely not a bootlicker. I can tell you that. Uh, I don't is know. We're, we're all just hosts. What does he lick? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going with that? <laughs> Only wieners. Kevin's like, no, 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 not the boot. 
Nada bu. <laughs> not the bu. Not the bu. He's, he's definitely licking leather, just not that kind. Yeah, see, here, this is the one race that you can insult. That's the only one I'm going to allow. White people. Hey, Joe Bond. I know him. Yeah, he's uh, he's a he's been on every he's been in the room on every live show so far. Lives with his parents. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We're, we're, episode by episode, we're learning Joel Bong's life story. I know a little, a little, a little at a time. By the time it's done, he'll be the host, and we'll be guest. <laughs> <laughs> we like some Twilight Zone episode. So I like the homeless situation got worse, Kevin, because so in Manhattan, someone was describing what Manhattan was like to me, and they said. Well, there was always homeless and crazy people, but they blended in with everyone else and you didn't notice them. But now that no one else is on the streets, it's only the homeless and the crazy people. And that made total sense to me. Yeah. No, now they're at the hotel. It's fine. It's it's good again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're all they're all living there. <laughs> so America's are, great now. MAGA's complete. So are they still like do they stay are they still out in the street every day? Or did oh, they yeah. stay in that? Like, I would they, stay in that room forever. I'd be like, I have a home. I'm never fucking leaving again. You would think they all smoke. I don't know how they have cigarettes are like $25 in Manhattan right now, but they all smoke and they all just sit outside the hotel all day. That's it. You should I mean, have. It doesn't sound much different from like the homeless people I experience at work all the time. They just stand around, smoke cigarettes and K2. We should send PP there to interview. <laughs> so I have a question for you. Oh my God, you smell. Now next person. <laughs> oh my God, you smell too. Why you, the, whole, the whole interview. Yeah, it'll be the whole thing. Why are you poop? Oh my God, don't touch so, me. So I've been at the same company on and off for like four years now. And there's this one guy, and he was really famous on Instagram. His name was Junkie Hercules. <laughs> and don't laugh. It's This is the truth. You can look him up. His name is Junkie Hercules. And basically, he was like the six foot two dude who was really ripped and homeless and just like he had like he looked like uh sorbo from the hercules joint oh, yeah, right? and he had like the hair. yeah he looked like kevin sorbo Sword fight. tonight but but he had like a he had like a fetty wop eye like he had like a gouged out eye that was like all like cloudy and fucked up <laughs> and he was always shirtless he was always picking fights and he had like a trans like partner mm -hmm. this like black woman that he'd been with forever and uh, as the years have gone on, I've seen his deterioration. And he just like, you remember in RoboCop, that one scene where like uh, the guy crashes into the like vat of like sewage or whatever. Oh, or, like, yeah. Just, like into the vat of just poison and just comes out and like looks liquefied. That's what he looks like now. <laughs> I couldn't find his handle. It's Junkie Hercules. It's not a. It's not a handle. He, the only handle he has is like no handle on life. Like he's just like just. <laughs> done um but it's been really sad because he used to be really really ripped and just like would pick fights um he got into a fight with my boss one time and i think he was shocked my boss pushed him back and uh yeah it's been really scary i'll find his photos and send them over do you but, yeah. let me know if i should give him hotel information yeah maybe it's good for you. <laughs> at some no, point you should crash you should give him an intervention Lori. you should let a couple stay by you like have a homeless party in your place yeah <laughs> <laughs> it can be awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll work on that. I'm in a room with uh, wood paneling right now, so I know, that's true. they're in a better place. Well, it would be like, the, the bathroom's on the left. Nah, I just go wherever I gotta go. <laughs> I just go where I gotta left go. Left side of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, one thing I did want, I, we just lost Lori's camera there for a second, but one thing I did want to uh, I'm fucking quitting. It's not worth it anymore. I'm <laughs> out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Show sucks now. So um, one thing that's uh, very cool is that um, we read pieces of an article last week from someone who was on The Apprentice, and um, they worked on The Apprentice for like years and years with Trump and uh, Ivanka. Now, um, the Michael Burnett who created The Apprentice sent uh, a letter to everybody saying he would sue them to the gills if they said anything and um, and they all have NDAs and blah, 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 blah. But there was one guy, Noel Kassler, his name is, he broke it just because he felt like he had to share some of the stories, such as the fact that uh, Trump snorts Adderall and that he is incontinent and shits his pants and wears a diaper because of it. 
and all his wonderful information about him. So he's coming on the show next week. Oh damn! Uh, yeah. So um, so no Castler will be on the show. It'll either be Chris will talk afterwards, but it'll either be Thursday or Friday again next yeah. week probably. Uh, but he's gonna come on and, and tell us everything about his experience with The Apprentice. So I'm really looking forward to that shit. So can we expect a cease and desist letter from the White House after that episode? Oh, that'd be great. I hope, I hope so. I already have the title. We're just gonna call it Donald Trump shits his pants. I can't think of a better a better title at this point. That's perfect. You know. So Kev, like, who do you get to meet? You got to meet some pretty awesome people working on the Yellow Show. I got to think, right? Yeah. Yeah, we. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a bummer because some of the guests we're having, like you said, we're saying before, like now that people don't have to really travel anywhere to do press, a, a lot more people are willing to just, you know, zoom in or call into a show. Right. Um, like we had Brett Michaels on the other day and he was fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Would have been a dude I would have liked to just shake his hand and get a photo with, but I'm in like a Brady Bunch Zoom picture with him. And he also, uh, that's that's pretty awesome. But did he, uh, and you know, that's he's the one who had the aneurysm, right? I think so. Right, Michaels did, yeah. He had a fucking yeah, aneurysm. He had an aneurysm. Yeah. George Michaels, he had the no, aneurysm. No, he didn't <laughs> have he had, a, he had a different thing. Yeah. Um, who did you meet in the studio? Like, who was your favorite person that you met? Oh, geez. Uh, I mean, Craig Ferguson is just the fucking man. Yeah. Every time he came, comes on the show is just sweet. Uh, be real. It's always awesome having be real from Cypress Hill on. Nice. No, but I, I would ask you who a dick, who was a dick, but you wouldn't say so. Uh, no, I'll tell you who was a dick. <laughs> we had, um, Dennis Miller on the show and he was just a straight up dick on the air. Really? I could see that too. So uh, arrogant. Yeah. Just on the air and, or, or like just off, off the air too. Like, cause that's even worse. Like on the air, I get it. You want to be, do your thing. You want to be you. That's fine. But like, was he a dick when he wasn't on the air? Well, we didn't talk to him. We were, we were on the air and he joined the zoom, talked to him for like 15 minutes and then he left. Yeah, I don't know. He was like, I, I seem to be the, the person on the show that was the most bummed out about it, but he just like copped an attitude with Jason for just no fucking reason. I'm like, ah, dude, who the fuck are you? He got like all, he got like so like right wing. He used to be the complete opposite. Complete opposite. He had that show on HBO. He had this comedy show, um, the Dennis Miller show, and he was liberal, you know, and now he's like gone all the way right wing. Big time. So Maybe he shits his pants now too. He might. See, <laughs> wouldn't that be great? Did you guys have Conor McGregor on? Uh, a while back, I think it was at a time when I wasn't with the show, and then he did a call in after that. Mm. But yeah, I never, I never got to meet Conor, unfortunately. Recently retired Conor McGregor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um. I have, uh, I've been to give you an idea how bored you can get being at home every day. Um, I figured out something about the show Family Feud because <laughs> sometimes, like, I put it on. Yeah. It's <laughs> Steve Harvey now. Did right. you not know Steve that Harvey I know, now? I know, but oh. I, I have it on all the time, but <laughs> just on for background noise. Like, I'm not watching it, it's just to have something on. So, I'm like on my iPad and I found myself answering pussy to the questions <laughs> and about 80 percent of the family feud questions pussy is a legitimate answer so i took this theory to another level and i recorded a few so here they are top seven answers on the board here we go after a wild party name a place a man might find his toupee and a pussy so you can pretty much do that with anything <laughs> There's one more. Ladies, here we go. Top seven answers on the board. Name something people sniff to see if it smells bad. Pussy. It's it's pretty much it's pretty much it's pretty much ever ever seventy percent of the questions you can answer with the word pussy. 
That last one was a pretty money voiceover. That was like that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but oh, I, man, the last one they all played too. muted for me. What happened? You, what, you know, <laughs> but you can't hear the video. No, I can't either. Really? Oh, I did. I heard every word. That's weird. It was, it was really good. Steve Harvey taught me how to be a uh, think like a man. It, it was, was the really most, most poignant thing I've ever heard. <laughs> it was one of the most uh, accomplished things I've ever done. I used to do that when I when I lived in Jersey. I did that the same thing. Like if I was getting worked on or doing some writing or something, I would just put the game show network on. Mm-hmm. And the dude who hosted the guy from Tool Time. Oh, I remember we used to do this bit. Like he used to ramble going to commercial. Yeah, he's just completely incapable of <laughs> throwing it to commercial, and he always tries to do a callback to one of the categories. But he just he doesn't put any like pre thought into it. He's like, "Oh, we're going to commercial. Uh, I guess I'll just think of a joke on the spot." One time, he literally just goes, "All right, the Smith family has 200 points. The Jones have 150. We'll be back after this." What do you like to do? <laughs> <laughs> so weird. The producer always gave him like an extra bit of rope too, so he would say something awkward and then be frozen like ah! <laughs> before the commercials actually started. I I was onto that like ten years ago, and since then there are YouTube montages of Tool Time guy just not being able to throw it to break. Oh, that's great. Fucking yeah. epic. They're so good. I remember you caught that. You played that really early on too. I remember that. Um, but yeah, so I'm, you know, you could see I got better at it as I, at, at the timing yeah, of practice, it. practice makes perfect. And you know what? That's three that I just filmed. But how many times I'm just on my iPad and I just look up and go pussy, and then I go back down because the an- the answer works with almost everything. I mean, it's the answer to everything. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> it gets the job done. <laughs> As you have six cats in your house. Yeah, I mean, it, it literally is the uh, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Wait, how many do you have now? You right have to- now we have we have fucking six cats in this house. I was right kidding. Now. Are you serious? There are actually six. There are the two kittens, but they just like they hide all the time. So they're brand new kittens. Mm-hmm. But we have our own four cats, and then we're you know we got them like a big playpen, and they just stay in there all the time. But doesn't it like can it smell like cat piss when you get that many though? I mean, like, if I squeeze them and they piss on stuff, yes, but I don't do that. <laughs> that you get in the piss? Yeah. Yeah, but I, like, I remember um, one, of my, uh, one of my aunts had, like, 10, 12 cats. Oh, God. And when you walked in the house, like, you, you weren't even in the door, and it just hit you like a punch in the face, man. So, weirdly enough, this apartment is kind of crappily built, but it has really good uh, wooden doors. They're, like, nice, thick, like, for like whole wooden doors are heavy as shit. Yeah. So I just like cut a hole into one of the closets and so they just like they have litter boxes in there so you don't smell anything. Mm-hmm. One of them has to have like a fucking like grimy shit coming out for you to smell it. Like it's gotta be like a possessed demon butt like for it to like really smell in the house. Poop slime. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. When they t- when when they take a shit you smell it. You gotta clean that right away. No, you got to bathe in it. Yeah, you got to fucking clean it right away. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Because I know people who just like leave the litter box there. and the That cat, is true. They just leave the shit in there until they're ready to clean it. There's there's a couple that like we alternate watching each other's cats whenever we go on vacation. It's one of Kara's best friends from college. And every time I go there, I feel so bad. Their litter box is just like so piled with cat piss and shit and they have two of them and they're both just like you can tell the cats are just like i guess i'm gonna start pissing on the floor now and then they do it's awful yeah some people just don't look after their pets it makes me really sad kevin you know you ever have a pet yeah i had had a cat when i was younger besides jeff clark do you ever have (laughs) he's not a pet he's a gimp it's different (laughs) (laughs) you should call him the gimp and make him wear make him wear i should yeah, this is what uh, I don't have any cats, but I'm um, I'm thinking about buying a litter box just to shit in. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a good icebreaker. In the alley, like everybody else there, <laughs> go right out the window. <laughs> it, like, you know what you have to do now is just smoke crack through your ass. I mean, he's that's the next step. No, I think that for the twentieth anniversary show. <laughs> How many episodes are you up to? You passed us a long time ago because we got lazy. Oh, on MSPH, we're up to uh, this week. We'll be recording 462. 
Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah, so uh, Kevin's uh, does Mad Scientist Party Hour podcast, too, which you can subscribe to on iTunes and all your different podcast places. You don't do video still, right? It's just audio? No, no video. Yeah, so... um. So you can uh, you can subscribe to that, but Kevin started right around the same time we did. Maybe you were maybe like what twenty episodes behind when we started, and like that, yeah, yeah. So we haven't even hit three hundred yet. And you're you're into the fours, like you do one every fucking week. Yeah, yeah. We don't. I think we're just OCD. We just well, Rob, remember when I went and did it, and I called you, and I told you like. Kevin's like serious. Like he actually oh, yeah. has boats ready to go. <laughs> yep. He's got, he prepares bits. He's got sound clips. He's got ideas and he's got the whole rig. He, he does that. He does everything. He, so he actually hosts a podcast. He, oh, does, yeah, he does weekly. What, what I'm, <laughs> you know, but, but the other two people on your show, they, they contribute also, right? They help out. Also, <laughs> right. <laughs> no, no, I don't think they do. That's not a thing that happens. They just show up when it's time. And not be be ready yet. Which one is it, Kevin? With you, with Jeff and Shuddy. Uh, Shuddy Shuddy has introduced a. So for episode four twenty, we had Doug Benson on. Nice. And That's another thing, you're on. Doug loves movies. Which yeah, you, yeah, done that. You're a, a big times. fan of, and we're never on, and now you're now you're a regular on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually had to host it when Doug went to the hospital with kidney stones. Like anytime I get a text from from Doug, and he's like, hey are you free tonight? It's usually like, okay, do you want to come on the podcast? Mm -hmm. So that I was like, Oh cool. I'm going to do Doug loves movies. And I'm like, yeah, I'm free. What's going on? He's like, uh, I'm in the hospital. Can you prepare and host an episode? Here are the guests. I was like, Oh my God. Like I've been doing radio for 15 years. Uh, I still, anytime I do a live show, live podcast in front of an audience, I'm a nervous wreck. Really? So being up there hosting it at UCB LA, I was fucking terrified. Well, wait, but you you're terrified, but once it starts, because I, I did some some live stuff with Bobby and some other things, and you're nervous until it starts, but once it kind of starts and you're up there, like I don't like it goes away from me. Same thing with the like when I sang with Band Geek and stuff, like even with the with the band, like I'm nervous and I'm nervous and you just worried about it and you just can't think about anything else. But the second it starts. You just kind of a, a switch just flips at me and I just go and like I'm I'm fine after that. It's just weird. Like the part when I'm on the stage is I'm not nervous during that part. You got nervous when you were up there? Yeah. Yeah. We, we've done some musical stuff like um, Ellis used to have a band and they're actually like really fucking good. Hmm. And they did a show at the Roxy years back. And they wanted to have me do a cover song. So they let the listeners pick and vote on what song I did. So, of course, they picked fucking um, Skater Boy by Avril Lavigne. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to go in and perform that song on stage at the Roxy. Fucking terrified through the whole thing. Actually, I, you're right with that one. With that one, once I started, because it was goofy. The musical stuff I usually don't have a problem with. The live hosting, that kind of... Because you already know what you're going to sing. You know what you're going to do. When you're up there riffing, it's like, fuck, at any moment, I could just have a brain fart mid-sentence, seize up, and just be mortified. Yeah, I, re I remember um, Bobby Kelly called me when he, he had talked to Luis Gomez, who owns a different podcast network, Gas Digital. And they had an idea. I, I could hear Luis now. We could do, like, Battle of the Podcasters. And we're going to have like tug of war and then everybody's going to do their own shows. So Bobby called me and he's like, you know, you know, and you guys will do something. And I'm just thinking, I don't think, I don't think we can do something with that fucking group with that clan. Like if I ever did a live one at this point, who knows when that's ever going to happen anyway, it would be in a really small place that I know we would have a good amount of people in. But I think we would just do it once and just do it. Like we almost possibly could have done it. Remember we were at the stand? Oh yeah. Yeah. So we were at the stand. <laughs> we we weren't there when uh when there was a lot of people there. Like we were there before they opened. So we were on the stage doing the show, but we never did it in front of a crowd. But I just don't think that I don't know. I just don't know if this would be something that would translate live very well. Maybe maybe earlier when we did our ridiculous shit, but 
I don't know. It's weird. Like Doug Loves Movies has a lot of games and bits and themes and stuff like that. We don't really have to say. Yeah, like imagine it. Well, but the, the part that I thought would be great is we could dress Mr. Pee up as the gimp and bring him out, which would be awesome. But yeah, I, I can't see. I don't know. Maybe he he rise to the occasion. What do you think would happen, Chris? Do you think we'd be good in front of a crowd? No. Yeah. Right. Like I. Oh, I, I so about that. Yeah, I worried about that. Like I, I. I feel like in order to have like a good live set as like a podcast, you have to do some sort of like something. Either it's improv-y or you're doing an interview or something like along the line, or you're interacting with your audience. We don't even fucking prepare. <laughs> we would just go up there and oh, just you not. don't prepare. <laughs> I, I mean, I think I'm the most prepared because I never prepare for anything. This is how I go about life. He just well, meander because he had his mic set up. <laughs> That's preparation. But we, uh, you know, which the one time I thought, you know what, this would work is when we did Dungeons and Dragons. That I thought would work. Oh, yeah. That I bet you would be the one thing we could do live that would work. We all dress up. We do it because that was fun. We could do our improv. We could. There's still a little structure to it. And then, Kev, you did Dungeons and Dragons on your show too, right? Yeah, yeah, we did a couple. My buddy Alex wrote us some campaigns, and you know, the first time we ever did it was I think the first time myself, Jeff, and Shuddy Boy had all played Dungeons and Dragons. So, you know, he wrote out like this big, long, serious campaign for us, and we're like rolling the dice to fart in people's faces right, and exactly. you know pull the pants down of some npc peasant or something uh and then we did like we brought uh rude jude came on and did a dungeons and dragons episode with us that guy's that pretty fucking awesome that guy's fucking nuts yeah he's a crazy dude man i would like to have him on too oh i text i gotta text dustin i'm gonna have dustin on oh Dude. yeah i think i'm gonna go um metal detector hunting with him <laughs> what why he brought a metal detector so i think we're gonna go to mal uh, uh, like a beach in malibu and do a metal detecting show that's kind of like how uh what's his name uh kevin nealon does like a hiking show he just goes uh, on hikes with people and they just shoot the shit so you're gonna do a metal detector show <laughs> yeah but yeah, <laughs> mention to him because i'm gonna text him i want to have him on he's good okay because we, you know, we just keep missing each other. And, and uh, you know, I text him and he had just left New York because, you know, he's not in New York that much. But now we're doing it like this. Why not? Looks like my camera just froze, too. Yeah. So your camera you? just froze. And I also just dropped the link to Kevin's turn as Avril Lavigne in the private chat of the <laughs> oh, studio. here. Oh, you so. bastard. <laughs> you absolute bastard. Wait, what did you, what did you do? Check the chat log. All right, hold Rob, on. your chin looks really good, man. You got a good jaw. Yeah, my jaw's on point. Now you're going to see the shitty dark angle now because I have to switch to this one. How Let's many see. phones do you have? <laughs> oh, this is my, this is my nice <laughs> But I got to at least put white people. This happens every every time. I have to, you know, I went to go buy a good webcam, and the, right now the webcams are like fucking $400 because everybody. Can you say webcam again? Huh? Can you say webcam again? Webcam? Webcam? A webcam. I heard webcam. So what's this link here? Let me see if that, I... that's Kevin as Avril Lavigne. I'm ah. performing on stage with Jason. <laughs> you don't have to like that. Okay. okay, let's see. Ah, you don't have to do that. Yeah, I think we should. I think we should. I can't vouch for the video or the sound quality. I just pulled it off YouTube, but All right. that's what it is. All right, I'm gonna try to do this. Give me a second here. One Man, I'm super pumped that the audio doesn't get to me from videos. Oh, oh don't worry, it will. No. <laughs> I'm going to make sure. All right. Check your limiter. All right. Hold on a second here. I got to figure out how to make it go full screen. This is a good good oh, call. Man. Good call, Chris. All right. Let me share my screen. Co hosts that do work. Do they actually do anything? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fucking true. <laughs> First contribution anybody's made. Oh, right. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, no. You guys see that? A little bit. All right. Uh, well, can you hear it? I yes. hear it this time. Okay. No, good. it's not working. You should probably just work it out. <laughs> oh, dude, you do. <laughs> Wait, is it legit frozen? Uh, it froze for me, yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Man, I looked skinny back then. <laughs> pre, pre quarantine. <laughs> She's been on it. Oh, yeah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Crushing it, dude. I gotta figure out a way to report this video on YouTube for a copyright violation. <laughs> you know, you know, Chad Kroger is gonna come after you. You should actually, you should actually post that as Avril Lavigne. Just, just, just call it. Avril Lavigne live skater boy just put it up and say, like, oh man, Avril Lavigne has really hit the fucking wall. She's <laughs> never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's funny. That's a good good job, Chris. Nice nice pull. Good night, Ooh. everybody. <laughs> He's done. He's finished. But yeah, you 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 owned it. You can see you jumped into it for a while. Like you were definitely jump, jumping around and shit. Oh, dude, then they made me record like a studio version of it. <laughs> and they fucking played it on Faction on Sirius XM. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> Just once? That should, uh, no, it was in rotation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kevin, uh, Johnny Treo says we should get you for the karaoke show. Oh, man. Yeah, how Kevin can take my place. How can we even? No, 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 no. That's not going to happen there, Biggie. <laughs> Yeah, that's not happening. But you, uh, how would we even do the karaoke show like this? You like, don't. Well, hopefully, we don't have to do shit like this for too much longer. Yeah, well, we will. I don't. Think, <laughs> I think this is all. This is all that's left here. I think we're doing it this way from now on. Each, uh, each person would have to do the backing track and the mic from their own location, so there wouldn't be lag. Right. And I don't know if we'd be able to set that up with this Motley crew. Unless we pre-recorded it, which would be okay as well. Yeah. If we pre-recorded, I'm going to hire someone to say they're me. No. Can you make it one of the homeless people 100 feet away from you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to buy a pack of new yep. cards, but yeah. You can get like five of them to do a dance with you, you know? Like two single ladies with like two homeless guys doing the <laughs> I'm, Next time I walk by there, I have to take pictures. Like you've never seen anything like this just because the staff there was telling me it was a, supposed to be for families, mm -hmm. but now they said, no, let's just give it to single male homeless. So it's just like tons of dudes in wife beaters. That's just that's uh, a strange decision to pick. No, that makes sense. Yeah. That's that's mostly what you see outdoors. Yeah, I think they didn't have the families. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually don't even know if it's that as much as it's like families probably get priority at uh, shelters. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah, but and why so, are the men staying in like a hotel with a pool? Because they're the filthiest ones. <laughs> yeah, I think the streets, you, man. I like the idea to bring the homeless into your karaoke. I think that'd be great. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. What's the, the song though? What's too for me? What? Yeah, that's two contributions. <laughs> you can take next week off. <laughs> <laughs> you can take the next one off. So, um. Yeah, because you have so Kevin, you have Shuddy Boy sends you stuff. D does Jeff like bring you ideas that are like terrible that you have to shut down? Uh, not usually. <laughs> Pick it on Jeff a lot. <laughs> Jeff Jeff likes to contribute, and he'll send a text of like a big rundown. Like, here's what I have to contribute for this week. Mm -hmm. And then you're just like, um, nope, 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 <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeff and I kind of fall in the same boat, where just by living, we kind of create um podcast content like mm -hmm. he was he was out walking his dog or something and some some girl just ate shit really hard on her roller roller skates next to him <laughs> and like broke her finger but i guess she was reacting like she just got a spinal fracture and screaming at the top of her lungs and made jeff call her boyfriend <laughs> so <laughs> jeff brings awesome stories like that to the table too yeah yeah he's he lives quite a life this guy we should get yeah. this guy Jeff on the show sometime. Really. I know we should. <laughs> this Jeff guy, he sounds really fun. Well, <laughs> well, Jeff was part of was supposed to be part of our show, and then uh, and he just moved just beforehand. 
So all of a sudden, you know, he, he, I called Kevin, who Kevin's probably still mad at me. But I called Kevin. I'm like, I got this guy who wants to do podcasting when he comes out to L.A. I and- actually hit you up because I, I heard him on the show with you. And I sent you a text, and I'm like, man, that, that Jeff guy on this week's episode is, is pretty funny. He's like, well, you're in luck then because he's moving out to California. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I didn't realize that you called me first about him. Yeah. So like, then why would you? he was like, Oh, I don't know if I want to do it. That was the other thing. Yeah, that's right. He was like, Oh, oh that, that fucking Kevin guy sounds like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to do something like that. How big is Jeff's smile right now? I'm spending most of my time. Uh, he's play he used to play online poker. You know what? I gotta say Why do you make him sound like Bootsy Collins? What's wrong yeah. with you? <laughs> hey, hold Jeff on. voice. Hey, wait, I'm gonna send oh, what's him. Up? What's up? I'm talk. I'm going to send him an invite to join us. Lori, <laughs> Lori, just keep saying his name a couple times and he'll be happy. It's fine. No, he'll never <laughs> come on. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I can't join too busy. I'm going to send a, a link now. I'm going to say join us. What, Rob, what was it? Oh, shit. He wanted, was it drums or guitar? He wanted to learn how to play the drums or play the guitar. Drums. It was, it was yeah, drums. It was a drum set, I think. It, it might have been, no, it might have been guitar. I thought it was drums, and he had an electric drum set. I thought that was. And like he just wanted to like learn how to shred or something like that, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, it was like every day, like I would walk by, and he would just fucking yell a guitarist at me as I'm walking in. And, I'm like, <laughs> and I walked it, and I <laughs> and I would walk in, and as I'm walking, Tom Morello, I'm like what? <laughs> it really is just so fucking absurd that me, you, Franco, Jeff, PP all used to work within like 10 feet of each other. Right, same company. <laughs> if that company stayed together, we would just all have gotten <laughs> sued for like all kinds of like inappropriate shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, the, let's let's go through the list. It was also Big Mike. Hold on. Right. Big Mike, Black Joe, uh, Mr. Cocky. Yeah. Oh, man. Somebody sent was me a video today. And I thought or was she the receptionist? I can't remember. Who? J-Lo. She was like the assistant. Who was the janitor? It's uh, <laughs> to, slash, to do everything. Yes, janitor. Yeah, the janitor. I don't have any uh, J Lo. Uh, he sound. was the real lackey. That's what he, he was. Yeah, she. She was J Lo. She was the real lackey. Oh, you know what? That was that was one of our. That was one of the weirdest shows. But it's just like it was either going to be horrible. Or it was going to work out great. So I, I mean, I'll t- at this point, I'll just tell it. So. We had somebody there that was a, a janitor, just barely spoke English, a Spanish guy. And he he kept seeing us setting up for the podcast because I would wait until the office closed. And just in the comp in my office, I would start setting up microphones. So he wanted to come on. And I was like, I don't know. What are you going to do? So I said, OK, you come on, but you have to be Jennifer Lopez. But you can never say that you're not Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> so we did the whole episode and he was J-Lo. He, like, he sang a song. He- <laughs> He did all of this stuff. I'm trying to pull it up in the meantime. The, the best part is that you were like, yo, we got J-Lo this week. And I was like, really? And you were like, yeah, we got J-Lo. <laughs> you just fucking kept saying it over and over again. I was like, I don't believe you. You're like, just wait. So, I don't know if this is going to work, but I think I might have Jeff here. Uh, I'm the MSPH resident cocksucker. What is, what is, where is he? I heard it. Yeah, we heard it. I got to suck a dick. I said you. Were- <laughs> oh, 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 nice. <laughs> I, I, I'm just. I'm gonna suck a dick. <laughs> yeah, that. no, that's Jeff. Can confirm. That's Jeff. I, you I'm know, not just sucking this dick for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny, Kevin. Like, I, oh, here he is. Wait, wait, look at him looking at the camera. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I want a cupcake. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jeff? What's up? Sweet hoodie. Thanks. I got it at the airport um, when I flew to Connecticut because I, I flew in the winter and I forgot to bring a jacket. And my mom reminded me that it was December and I was like, oh, fuck. So I bought a hoodie at the this bland ass generic California hoodie. Yeah, it's one of the more comfy things I've ever purchased, though. Jeff hey, always is this what, is just is this what you brought me on here for? What? Is this what you brought me on here for? Let's talk about my hoodie. No, to make that- fun, just to make fun of you. No, is that your hand? The, yeah, the side of your thumb. That's one third of your frame right now. I told you just use his phone because I, I sent him the link. I said, "Come on." He's like, "Oh, I gotta set my equipment up." No, just just go on your phone. It looks fine. Why well, I gotta finish checking off? <laughs> <laughs> Do I sound all right? You sound fine. 
You sound fine. All right, awesome. <laughs> you, sound, you, sound, you sound great. Yeah, like Kevin did a good job defending me. I was pretty surprised. I thought he was gonna <laughs> join in and just kicking me while I was down or while you it guys was, were attacking me. It was different when we weren't on air, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, look, man, I need the guy. So when we get on, you know, we get on air. You he spilled the tea off air. Yeah, off the record, Kevin's a little different. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you what are you, what are you doing out there? Are you doing anything? Like what's what's how, how are you handling the COVID, Jeff? Oh, uh, probably probably the poorest set of everyone you know. Actually, that's not true. I think you have a, a pretty wide network of friends on Facebook. I see commenting, and if you look at my social media, I don't post any horrible COVID takes, but I have a lot that you probably would not like. So oh, well, I you, am not you handling think, it well. You think it's at a hoax? All. You think it's a hoax? I don't think it's a hoax as much as I think it's pretty much the most fucked up situation a mismanaged situation and yeah i agree with uh, all maybe in our history and our as far as i as long as i've been alive i would say but yeah, i know I 400 years internally. of something that would beg to differ <laughs> i agree you know whatever it's fine <laughs> yeah, it's a good point oh, I, said my, I said in my life that's true he did say his lifetime which yeah, depending on who you ask is still not over he's barely paying attention to his lifetime so i guess <laughs> <laughs> fucking 33 years i mean geez wow you're 33 now yeah i forgot you're yeah, older you. all grown up rob yeah i just assume like he stayed 23 you know because like when you hear him like on the show he sounds the same yeah uh yeah i would say um uh, mature wise i'm roughly 23 to 25 somewhere yeah, i would put you more 12 but you know that's just me you're like paul rudd but you don't look anything like him <laughs> You do don't 12 year olds them. watch as much porn as I do? Probably with none of the charisma. Why are you watching porn all the time right now? No. I yeah, right, that. right. Okay. All right. What's your go to? What's your go to? Well, I recently stumbled upon, like, uh, uh, my buddy told me about Reddit sub threads. And I, I, I'm, like, int- intimidated, of, intimidated of Reddit. No, I don't really no. dabble in it as much as I would like to. However, I'm starting to now that there's like free porn on there. So, uh, let's see. Are Tam you on Gun Wild? Sweet. Wait, what was it? What's up? What, which one are you on? Tan Lines is pretty sweet. Busty <laughs> is pretty dope. Uh, you ever go on Gone Wild? <clears throat> is that the real girl? No. <clears throat> no, it's just, it's Franco, just you Gone just, Wild. You just changed his world. I, yeah. I got two yeah, words. You I just got, changed his world. I got Mexicana. I got Chubby. Those are separate ones. So, <laughs> chubby Mexican. I mean, I, yeah. Oh, fat I'm, black dicks. <laughs> I'm tricked out that people could see like what I'm following. I don't comment on anything. I don't upvote on anything. I'm I'm Ooh. worried that I'm gonna leave a digital footprint where I'm like Ooh, commenting. I'm, I'm like, buka- like fucking. <laughs> I'm on like, copies and brukakis and gangbangs. I'm on Reddit <laughs> looking at fucking virtual reality headsets. I didn't know there was porn on there. Yeah, it's everything you could ever want. So what do you just like search for <laughs> what tan lines? <laughs> Dude, no, my buddy my buddies put me onto the game. They they know they know a whole bunch of channels. I have to look them up, but there there's a, a bunch that I follow, you know, not safe for word gifts. I like that the uh, tan lines one was the first one that came to mind. Yeah, first one that came to his mind. Oh, oh, a promotion, oh, promotion there. Oh, tan line. It's it's the classiest of all the names. I really <laughs> like um Cam um Cam Soda Whores and Cum Sluts is really good. Yeah, that one's really good. <laughs> if I close my if I close my eyes and I listen to you talk, you sound like a commentator on E Network, like talking <laughs> about anything. Is you have the sweetest voice. Thank you. I know, yeah. but his mind is fucking twisted though. Back there, there's a lot of shit going on in that head. We used to work together. We used to, we shared some experiences. Yeah, I was. I was. Yeah, me, me and Franco have gotten dark and weird together. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't believe his it. name was Joe. Maybe not that dark. I think my favorite memory was when we were when you came to New York and we opened up your Tinder and we swiped right and you didn't have any matches and then I hadn't <laughs> opened and I hadn't opened mine in like about a week and I swiped right and I had every single match possible. <laughs> yeah, I really I really love that, that time too. <laughs> That's probably my photo. That's probably my photo. I'll yeah. never forget that because that I never tell, happened before yeah. in my life. I like, tell I've all never my friends about that. Do you really? 
Yeah, yeah. This one time I went to New York and my buddy got so many more Tinder matches than me. That's, that's what I thought. <laughs> I just, the only reason I remember that is because it would never happen again. Like, I hadn't gone on that thing forever. I remember it because it happened in front of Rob. He made fun of me about it. Mercy. Mercy. <laughs> I don't, that doesn't sound like me. Hmm. I was no, telling that's exactly how you get down. I was telling, uh, I was telling when you were probably trying to connect, how you wanted to p- take up an instrument. It was it was a guitar. Frank, I thought it was drums. I thought it was guitar. I thought it was drums. I wanted yeah, I, drums, but I didn't have one. the room for it, so I just settled on guitar. Mm. But yeah, your commentary is pretty accurate. I didn't give it a, a full chance, and I really just wanted to be awesome at it without working for mm-hmm. it. So. Yeah, and he would be like, it went nowhere. And all you, he, would, you he, would make a good president. He he would yeah. ask me early on. He would go, "Who do you think the best guitarist is?" And I said, "Ever? Yeah." I said, ah, "Probably Jimi Hendrix." Come on! And then every day I'd walk in, and as soon as I walked in, you'd just yell out a guitarist like that you thought was better than Jimi Hendrix. Like it would change anything. Tom Morello. <laughs> well, looking back on that, what I was trying to do, I was trying to get you in an argument because arguing with people is pretty much my favorite thing to do. So, <laughs> is it? That's what I was going for. Oh yeah, I, all our Patreon Slack channel is. It's just Jeff, Jeff arguing with our listeners. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like twenty v one on fucking COVID. You know what? That's, that's should, awesome. That should be premium, dude. You should charge for that shit if you want to get into an argument with Jeff. Like you got to pay five bucks. Five bucks on our yeah. Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's yeah, a angle. Yeah, I, talking I shit do about do I pull my weight? Yeah, I argue all fucking day. You damn right, I pull my weight. <laughs> you got a lot of issues, dude. Just like, I just play. <laughs> yeah, I just. I just play mind games with Kara all day long. Like I just like uh, I'll tell her that she's wrong about something and then support her lovingly and then tell her she's wrong again. I do that all the time. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you uh, based out of or, or located, Franco? I'm freaked out about the whole six cat thing. Oh, I'm in Brooklyn. Yeah, I think he was trying to ask where you live. Was the question that he right, right, yeah, he just used well, like, uh, yeah, I, right. Well, no, 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 you, what I'm getting at is, is it where are you geographically you currently situated I, in the? In the I feel what, like you need, what's your latitude and longitude right now? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you guys are going hard on my boy. Like you have a compass or a sextant, Andy? If I was to put you in a GPS, where would? It <laughs> <be>? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this isn't that bad. I do a lot of, uh, I don't know, in the past two years, I've been doing a lot of fostering, so I just have animals around my house all the time. You and this get time, a kid, I, dude, get a kid. <laughs> get a child? I've, a I've child. already got, my neighbor has three children that screamed outside all day long. I'm fine. I don't have everything I need. I have everything I need. <laughs> and be a deadbeat dad from a distance. You can see Franco getting a kid out of juvie. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Can I be your dad? <laughs> like, a, like a rescue? Come, <laughs> yeah, come I just lost your kids. Daddy. Uh, daddy kept bought 40 bucks. What do you need it for? Uh, the arcade. I want to go to the arcade. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. Where, where exactly on the map would you say you were if I put a push pin in it? <laughs> what I was getting at is does he have a big enough place to fucking <laughs> deal with six cats? Like, you, I would need a. I don't know. I would need a very big place to deal with that. Each cat. cat has its own bedroom at Franco's. <laughs> seven seven yeah, bedroom I, house. I sleep under the it's bed, the and they sleep on top of the bed. <laughs> Jeff, you you don't you never had any pets? I have a dog now. I had a dog when I was uh, working with you guys. Oh, I don't remember that. What kind yeah, of dog? Well, I didn't. The dog was when I was working with you guys. A, no, now. A bee shampoo. Uh, currently, it's a Boston Terrier. A beach, what was it? B shampoo. I thought you were asking about the dog that I had when I worked with you, but no, uh, uh, right now my dog is a, a Boston Terrier. So it's racist. <laughs> yeah. Not. It's just not yells at Fenway well. Park. Just says the N word at uh, Fenway yeah, Park all day. Loves <laughs> Jeff because he's white. Yeah, she hates squirrels. It's awesome. I. I we got oh, her because my is that what they girls. is that what they call them now? <laughs> Stop barking on my dinner. <laughs> what a BB gun! Uh, <laughs> we got we got we got her through a friend. Uh, his girlfriend's sister like didn't want her anymore. And, like she's like the most well trained, well behaved dog. It's it's crazy that someone would give her up, but she's she's fucking sick. That's Kevin still got to meet her, but 
I, I I've gotten her. Uh, I got her during the quarantine, so Kevin hasn't had a chance to make it down here. Yeah. Hey, why are you still on camera? Go get your fucking dog. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Show me this dog. <laughs> I think she's out taking a shit with my brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> your brother I mean, in the street. <laughs> she's taking the shit. My brother. I just the like, <laughs> like, ass to ass shit on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro! <laughs> Don't give it steamer on the concrete. Hey, you wipe me. I'll wipe you. I didn't know Jeff had a poop slime alley. Also, this is great. <laughs> My brother and the dog are taking a shit. <laughs> Each other's assholes. <laughs> Couples that poop together. You live with your brother? I live with both my brothers. Me and my um, I, I'm I'm the eldest of three, or the oldest of three. Me and uh, the, I guess, second oldest moved out here in November 2011. And uh, the other one uh, joined us like three years later. Wow. Wow. So you're just basically hosting the whole family out there now. It's the Clark compound. You know, can you imagine that one? Hey, yeah, you're yeah. telling me you can't live with four cats. You got to live with two other humans your size. That's a lot of fucking people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Place it, must smell like pee. It's got to smell what like piss. Hell? No, we're all housebroken. It, it works out. <laughs> Kevin, I'm so sorry I did this to you, man. Kevin's life on Monday nights. I got to look at this fucking mug enough every week. Yeah. <laughs> I think every time I've ever seen Jeff, we just rag on each other the whole time. Does he leave right away or does he like overstay his welcome? Hey, you want to play some PlayStation or Xbox? Like, is that like, does he hang oh, around? Yeah. I Jeff put usually sleeps over. My feet on the table. Not you, Jeff. Shut up. I'm talking to, I'm talking to Kevin. <laughs> Jeff usually will Did sleep over. What is he spitting? And throwing up? I don't know, man. That's, I'll find like, like fucking spit napkins all over the place when he's gone. He just did it. He just it's, it's a spit napkin. It's got a name. It happens so frequently. It's a spit napkin. <laughs> what are you doing? You just, what are you spitting? Like, what's in your mouth that you have? I just, I just ate dinner. I was just wiping my mouth because I had some stress in the corner. <laughs> Was it your was it your dog shit? <laughs> yeah, he just cleaned his brother. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that stupid fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what does he what does he do, Kevin? Does he hang around too long? No, I mean usually most of the time Jeff will, will crash and spend the night and then just go to work in the morning. Mm -hmm. Uh but if not, we usually will, you know, we'll smoke a couple bowls and play some Fortnite and then he'll bounce. Uh, I busted his balls about it, but Jeff used to like, I would go and take a shower and like, I turn the shower on just to like, let it warm up. And I'll like brush my teeth before I hop in and the shower head would be angled out towards the rest of the bathroom. So it'd just be like, while I'm brushing my teeth, I feel like wetness. And I look down and there's like a fucking inch of water on the, <laughs> on the damn floor. <laughs> so I, I busted Jeff's balls about it. But I may have busted it too, busted his balls too hard because he thought it was serious. I was oh, like, you know what? Now on, when you stay at my house, you have to fucking shower in poop slime alley. <laughs> <laughs> and then one day he was like, oh, dude, you mind if I just take a shower today? And I was like, dude, you can always take a shower. You're like, but you told me to go to the alley. I was like, no, I was just busting his balls. <laughs> hey, boundaries, you know? Yeah, he was a, he was an interesting character to work with, man. That's just that's an understatement. A very interesting dude to work with. He always I was never late. <laughs> I don't remember anything about your performance whatsoever. That's the truth. I also don't remember us actually having hours. But like, I don't remember if you were good or not. I don't remember. We folded papers. Like, how hard yeah. we could it have been? Like, yeah, it was, I was as good as Franco. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was fucking. It was more on work. I know. It, <laughs> was, it was really. It <laughs> was really yeah. pathetic. You're, if you remember, you were in the side of the office with the computers and the desks. Yes, I was standing up the whole First time. The office, Jeff. I did fine. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, I think about how stupid it was that we literally made like seven foot long booklets. Like that was our job. <laughs> Yeah, that was my first <laughs> job out of graduating college. Yeah, we you fucking know? printed paint, like fucking paint books for like drawing fucking yeah. coloring books for like architects. That was when our job. When you guys went home, were you like, oh, I worked so hard today? 
You my hands would did. just be stuck like this because it <laughs> just hurts so much to carry those papers. We did actually work hard. Well, Chris and I worked in the office area. We yeah. worked hard. That's the area with the computers, Jeff. The, the, right, but but yeah, Chris did I, his I, own I worked job. With the black guys. So what? I said me and Franco worked with the black guys. Okay. Not in the office. <laughs> Among other things. Yeah, there were a lot of other guys there too. Yeah. This is why Buck and I can't go live on video. Yeah, this is what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, on that note, I think I'm... the Boston Terrier is talking through Jeff right now. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like All a right. statement from the Boston Red Sox. I can really use a snossage right now. I mean, uh... <laughs> well, Jeff, I, I uh, do. You, do you want to play a game of Florida Man before we go with us? What is Florida Man? Absolutely. Yeah, um, I don't. I'm not. 100% familiar with the rules, but break it no, down. No one here is. We're about to start. This, this is the first time. So, Lori, hold you on, hold on. Chance. I'm going to get water. Okay. Lori, do you have Article 1 ready? I'm loading it. One sec. All right. Yeah. Now take your time. So, here's my idea for this. So, we did the news with Lori all the time, um, and she pointed out multiple times that the weirdest stories that we read were always from Florida. Um, and since then, there's this whole trend called Florida Man because the, the weirdest stories always seem to start with Florida Man does this, Florida Man does that. So last week, we had three news articles of the week before, and they were all Florida Man. So I thought we could make it a game where I'm going to read three Florida Man headlines. You guys pick what you think is the real one, and then Lori will read the story. So Franco... I don't know if you heard. You have the AirPods. You probably heard what I said, right? Yeah. It sounds like a really fun game where I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> right up your alley. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to read three Florida man headlines. You tell me which one is real. First, You're talking one. to Jeff, right? Jeff tells you which one. <laughs> oh, no, everyone, real. including Jeff. Oh, okay. and, Jeff and Jeff's racist dog. One, <laughs> Florida man dresses. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Jeff's dog like, like uh, you know, like Sam the dog? Yes, it's exactly what it is. Is, is that what it is? You gonna really wear that <laughs> dog again? What? What's the dog's name? Allie. Allie. Oh, it's a girl. Yeah. Is the poop slime Allie? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the name of the episode, Poop Slime Allie. Thank you, Kevin. She's a right. bilingual. Well, I know Kevin royalties for that. Yeah, I know. Really. All right. Three Florida man headlines. First one. Florida man dresses as pantless Batman to shop at Walmart. That's number one. Number two, Florida man drives ATV into Planned Parenthood window. And the third one, naked Florida man defecates and masturbates in family's home after jumping off the roof. I'm going to start with you, Mr. Fortney. B. B. So you guess Florida man drives ATV into Planned Parenthood window. That's correct. Kevin, what's your guess? Poopy jack off. That's okay. that's on brand with Florida. <laughs> Jeff? I'm going naked Batman. Naked Batman? All right. Lori, did you The see? one we're picking is the one the real one? Yeah, the real one. I'm gonna go. Did see. you come up with the other? Hmm? I was gonna ask, did you come up with the other two? Or are they just different the two states? Two are just made up. Yeah. Okay. Different states? Is that what you said? <laughs> was, it, Oregon, was it like Oregon. a North Carolina man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of weird news stories around the country. I don't know. It's Sometimes I wonder why you don't walk around with a crash helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Larry said C, right? C, yeah. I'd say C, too. I got another comment that says Chris looks like John F. Kennedy Jr. <laughs> but now... <laughs> I would say you look more like RFK. <laughs> All right, side? Lori, what was your guess? You want me to read him again? No, C. C. The living room. Okay, and Franco. I would say C as well. Did you say Anne Franco? Anne <laughs> <laughs> Man Franco. And, <laughs> I can't do that, man. <laughs> Have the fucking Zionist jumping down my fucking yeah. throat, man. The goose. <laughs> You've there, changed, yeah. man. You've changed. There was, no, there was a there was a kid in high school named Dan Frank, and we would always tell him <laughs> that he was the he was the diary of Dan Frank. 
<laughs> um, her sister, her sister Katie Frank was so hot. <laughs> And Frank oh, Jokes man. is just the best. Good job, Franco. <laughs> <laughs> and Franco. That's Which great. One, what was the picture of Frank, <laughs> Franco? <laughs> what was your pick? I said C. C also? All right. The answer is C. Naked Florida man defecates. Seriously? In, uh, in your, your face, Courtney. Although if anyone's going to know about a naked Florida man, it's going to be Lori. Right. You can't even spell Florida without Lori. All right. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Lori. Read it. <laughs> just, <laughs> just counted that out. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like I, the math I, in his head. Oh, should we yeah. play the, uh, let's do the new, um, <laughs> oh, okay. That's let's do the new, uh, the new theme again. So Kevin, you remember this when, uh, Lori's Mr. PP did the, uh, news with Lori. Yeah. Oh, and her magnificent. Yeah, so here it is. I'll play it again. And now the news with Lori with her magnificent tits. <laughs> tits. <laughs> we played that all the time. Yeah, and PP could never time it with himself. Never, never. <laughs> but at the same time, because we're in kind of the Me Too era. I think that's a little sex, a little sexist. So I reached for <laughs> Krista's quotes. Like you were like, we're, we're kind of in the Me Too era. <laughs> no, but I'm, it's kinda. Steph caught you. I heard it. So so we've altered a little. I asked Mr. Pee to contribute, and this is uh, this is the new version. Oh. And now the news with Lori with her magnificent personality. <laughs> <laughs> Personality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, For those of you that didn't hear it, he sent me multiple uh, versions of personality. Here they are. Personality. Personality. <laughs> personality. <laughs> personality. <laughs> personality. I just drooled. <laughs> Who's drooling? <laughs> I just drooled. I just I just All right, go ahead, ahead, Lori. Let's hear it. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Am I reading this? You're reading. Yes, you're reading. Oh, okay. Naked assailant terrorizes <laughs> NFM family. Okay, NFM stands for North Fort Myers. No, oh, okay. I was just about to ask that. <laughs> I thought it was like NSFW. No, yeah, it sounds like one of just fucking porn threads. Just subreddit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ten R slash. I like Grand Lines and I like North Fort Myers. Those are my two favorites. <laughs> a North Fort Myers resident was tackled by a naked man who had leapt off his roof Monday evening, and the scene only got more bizarre from there. Deputies were called just before 7 p.m. to deal with 21 year old Gregory Matthew Bruni of Venice. The resident said he was lying in bed when he and his wife heard what sounded like thunder. The man went outside and saw Bruni running around on the roof. He allegedly jumped off and onto the victim, hitting him in the shoulder and knocking him down. Deputies say Bruni then ran into the house and pulled a large screen TV off its stand and dumped the contents of the vacuum <laughs> onto the floor. Bruni then headed towards the couple's son's bedroom where several guns were stored. So the man's wife fired three warning shots from a 38 revolver. The arrest report. <laughs> well, why is that the poor chef led? <laughs> the arrest report. What's the point of warning shots? Oh my god. The arrest report says Bruni fell to the floor, but then began pleasuring himself. He got up <laughs> off the floor, ran into the son's bedroom, and began rubbing clothing on his face. The resident got a shotgun and held Bruni until two deputies arrived. They cleared the home and tried to detain Bruni, who they describe as flailing his arms and legs and talking, but not making any sense. Bruni tried to flee the deputies, and they ended up using a taser to subdue him. He was taken to the hospital, but doctors told deputies they couldn't identify the substance Bruni was on during the incident. Bruni is charged with two counts of criminal mischief, battery, occupied burglary, and resisting without violence. That's got to be like bath salts or some shit. Nah, man, that's Jankum. He's just fucking like took a big old fucking rip of Jankum. 
Yeah, what's what's Jankum? I don't even know what it's that when is. you uh, put shit in a balloon and you fucking sniff the vapors after. <laughs> Heard of that? That's right. We read that one. The major yeah. thing of the story is that this couple they stored their guns in their son's room. Yeah, how many fucking guns do these people have? Also, Jesus, <laughs> where did the son go? Is he in college? So, <laughs> so Jeff, in your mind, you would have just shot him. Like, you would oh have, yeah, you would have got gonna... on my roof and then jumped on me naked, and I had a gun. Like, what's the point of me owning a gun? Yeah, it could yeah, be a plain clothes that police officer. They could be on a no knock warrant, so you got to be careful. This is, yeah, this is also, I was off. I was going to show. Yeah. Honestly, but however, like, it turned out to be a naked guy. His dick is bigger than mine. Let's fucking kill him. <laughs> I, I think that uh, it just depends. Like, if it were like a teenage black boy, maybe, but because it's a naked man, we can just assume that it's not going to happen. Yeah, do we know the race? Did it, did you confirm the race? Does matter? Why does that matter? Florida. Florida, Florida is matter. the race. Florida, Florida. That's the whole Florida point. Is, Florida has white trash, which is the worst race of all. White it trash is. is the lowest of the fucking low. Yeah, breaking it into is. a house and beating off is some white guy shit. That's some sure. white trash shit. That's, white that's what I mean. That's what makes Florida the scariest, in my opinion. My when dad lived in Florida. Story, He's not normal. I, I assume I would have assumed it was from the Panhandle, but it's it's North Fort Myers. So NFM. strange. All right, I don't think it matters where in Florida. All right, let's play the next one. I got one more. All Deputy right. cleared for shooting naked man armed with crossbow who claimed aliens were after him. All right, I guess we're not playing the game because you just gave. That's the one. one. That's oh. real. <laughs> I didn't realize what the game was. <laughs> Wait, so she knew which one was the answer the whole time? No. Yes, she had it open. I know, but oh. I didn't. Uh, you told me not to read them ahead of time, so I haven't. <laughs> what, what are your other two made-up ones for? Oh, right. so, yeah. Yeah. so the three I had were... Sorry, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> the three I had were Florida man shot by law enforcement after aiming crossbow at them while, while nude. That, Next, I that one. That's the real one. Yeah. Uh, Florida man dresses as a nun and strip teases on I-95. <laughs> and I I changed it up. I made a Florida woman. I figured maybe that would be a big Florida woman starts strip club in her backyard to raise money for prosthetic leg. Those are the <laughs> so, oh, see, see. <laughs> no, it's I'm not sure you, it's not what you want to happen. I'm sure if you looked it up, it would be it's something that happened. It just all you need to do is Google it. I know, it's so true. But uh but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the Florida man often. But go ahead, read the read the story anyway, Lori. Hold on. Holding. <laughs> the headline, though, she just holding. threw it right out. <laughs> I know, and then I just closed it. Still holding. Yeah, this. You really hate that game, huh, Lori? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're back. A Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office deputy has been cleared of wrongdoing after he shot and wounded a naked man who aimed a crossbow at him and other deputies as they attempted to arrest a man for barricading himself inside a house. Sheriff's what? Office deputies received a 911 call from a man who said his son, 26-year-old Glenn Phillips, was under the influence of narcotics and had threatened to shoot him at his home. The father arranged to meet deputies at the convenience store, but never appeared, according to the report. Later that morning, the father called 911 again and said his son had locked himself inside their home and wouldn't let him inside. Deputies responded, and the father again told them that Phillips had threatened to shoot him with a crossbow. After several hours of unsuccessfully trying to get Phillips to exit the home, four deputies entered the home and heard Phillips state he was armed and dangerous. After they entered into the home, they observed Phillips naked and armed with a crossbow, which he aimed at the deputies. The next day, Phillips told investigators that when the deputies entered the home the day before, he was naked on the floor, praying to earth and native God. He said he also believed that people or aliens may be coming to take a meteorite he had previously found because it was worth a lot of money. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in Florida, dude? That was a it's lot still, of Florida. It's, still, it's gotta be the water. It's you remember when that kit. guy ate the man's face under the bridge? Yeah, that was the bath salts. Bath salts. Yeah. He ate bath salts. Is that guy alive? The guy who got shot. I thought the guy got shot. No, the know. one who had his face eaten. I got no, it. he died. He died? Yeah, Are you he, sure? sure his family sure was, was trying to help him. 
What kind of help do you give a man with no face? I'm sorry. It was just the cheek. It wasn't the whole face. I remember there was this documentary a long time ago about the band Judas Priest, and they had a song about suicide. And this fucking white trash, again, uh, Judas Priest fan, put put a shotgun to his face and pulled the trigger and didn't die. And he fucking blew his whole face off and he sued Judas Priest like it was Judas Priest's fault. Oof. And the, the documentary is fucking so interesting to see, but like they were really trying as hard as they could to uh, to put the put the pressure on Judas Priest and sue Judas Priest because this kid tried to blow his face off. And you know they have him in interviews later with no face, going, oh, "Judas Priest, they ruined my life." It's like you ruined your life, dude. Yeah, I, I listened to Eminem. Was that Florida? Crash. Hmm. I don't know if it was Florida. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if it was. I actually have it on VHS somewhere, but I don't know. Oh, if my I'm, God. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know if I'm even going to be able to transfer it if I wanted to, but whatever. That could also be like Iowa or something. It could be. It's it's definitely one of those fucking white trash states. Holy shit. I just because I wanted to see a picture of that. Uh, you see oh, it? my God. There he is. Can you share it? Email it to me. And yeah, now you have to put it up. So I got, I got to see it. Here Has anybody up. read the comic or watched the TV show Preacher? I no. know. I know of it. But. So there's there's a character in it named Arseface, and it's this kid who does the same thing. He takes a shotgun, tries to shoot himself in the face, but he survives. And when they save his life and, you know, he recovers, his face looks like a giant butthole. Oh, okay. It's from Arseface. I think and I – yes. I, I Googled Judas Priest shot face off. And the first thing that comes up was that Arse Face was inspired by that story. Yeah, hold on. I'm, I'm pulling it up. I'm going to give you one second. It, 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 Kevin, he looks like a fucking Muppet. Like it doesn't I don't think the pictures that showed up were the guy. No, that's him. That's him. I'm telling you, that's the guy. Rob's seen him. He has his VHS of him. I've seen him. I have a fucking VHS. Uh, Rob idolizes him. It's like his Toxic Avenger. How dare you? He looks like Toxic. Like yeah, yeah, watch this. It's uploading. I don't watch this. Look, no way. <laughs> Honestly, he looks like he's in Judas Priest. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Halford. He looks, he looks like, like Jim Durante. <laughs> That's what I. Hi, Judas Priest. Is it? I it's my own motion. That could be wrote that. Uh, oh my God, no! That could be Ellen DeGeneres. No <laughs> that, lie, that's that could be Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> is it, Rob, is it Sledgehammer, the Peter Gabriel video where everyone's in claymation? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, but you gotta like imagine, like I was in the video, like this guy is. Awesome. How is that not Owen Wilson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys want to go crash a wedding? You guys, oh, really, wow. you guys really got to start watching the video version. <laughs> 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 like, but the guy was talking, so that like hole in the middle of him is like slapping. <laughs> yeah, it works. Yeah, <laughs> make me horny. Maynard is favorite <laughs> Judas Priest album is. <laughs> got to be British Steel. He really looks like he wants to know where the beef is. <laughs> yeah. So um yeah, but he sued Judas Priest and took him to court and uh I forgot what the name of the documentary is. <laughs> oh god. There's there's fucking memes of <laughs> it's the mask. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I don't oh, it's a t shirt. It's a heavy metal t shirt. Hold on. Don't see images. Give me a second to pull this up. So this is a t shirt that some <laughs> heavy metal site is is selling. That it says put your <laughs> fucking people, man. I love the end of this fucking great. All right, so you ready? It's the t-shirt is put your metal face, put on your metal face. And <laughs> it has a t-shirt. Way to go, James. He, James Vance made metal history when he was inspired by Judas Priest to blow his face off. Way to go, James, a true metal hero. I wonder if this guy's still alive. And if he is, I want to get him on the show. Did he only do the front of his face or did he do the inside of his mouth? I don't know, dude. He doesn't look good. In <laughs> I think he died in 1988. Yeah, he looks like Gonzo, the fucking <laughs> Muppet. Wait a minute. He used... Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Oh, they call him. Oh, they call him ass face. I see. Oh, here's another one. Okay, this is real too. Okay, one more. <laughs> one more, and then we'll move on. Uh, God. Okay, hold on. Yeah. So, though those of you who aren't uh, checking out the video version of this, <laughs> proceed at your own risk. But this is okay. Here's one more. He, this is one of him actually being interviewed. Right. Here. <laughs> Stop it. <man. laughs> oh, it's him, dude. It's it's him. I liked it. The German. Uh, I mean, <laughs> am I crazy? Or it's a pretty good plastic surgery, given that he shot himself in the face with a shotgun. Yeah, I mean, he, I don't know. He if looks I, like I, Billy Hoyle, to be honest with you. Did he? Did he I ever? Think he looks like, like anyone is a good thing. Why did you give me so much nose? Yeah. <laughs> like you, they probably had to make that out of his ass. It's like I could have more ass right now, but instead I have this ten pound nose. It's it's like a a glove. And the mouth yeah. does look like an uh, an asshole too. Like, <laughs> I just can't get over how that looks like a hodgepodge of like Ellen DeGeneres and fucking Owen Wilson. <laughs> Owen Wilson. <laughs> and and one of the two old Muppets that's up in the balcony. <laughs> the Muppet show is like a comedy. Deadler show. and Waldorf. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh man. <laughs> That's a Florida man if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yeah, is. So, so um anyway, I want uh, I want to thank uh Kevin and Jeff. Kevin, uh you can listen on Jason Ellis show. Where do we catch Jason Ellis show? Yeah, we're on channel 103 on Sirius XM Faction Talk and we're live Monday through Friday. Uh oh, I got to do time math now. 5 p.m. <laughs> Eastern to 8 p.m. <laughs> Eastern. All right. With an immediate replay. So we have a six hour block of 103 faction talk every weekday. Very cool. Awesome. And then Mad Scientist Party Hour, of course. You can Hell yeah. Uh, check out our podcast, Mad Scientist Party Hour, on iTunes and stuff. And we've also got a Patreon we've been doing for a couple of years now. And there's a ton of fucking, we got Disney Plus content on there. <laughs> That's nice. Jeff, like if you. Just, if you sign up now, you get access to all the stuff we put up in the past, and there's there's a lot. So go to patreon.com slash mad scientist party hour. Check it out. Can you dress Jeff as baby Yoda? <laughs> that's, worth that's a request. I mean, that's what the hoodie looks like. <laughs> one one other uh request we got too. You know, the band geeks, Richie Castellano and company are, you know, good friends of this show. Um and Anne Marie, uh, Richie's wife, who's a singer, her sister, Emily, also sings. And of course, everybody in, in Staten Island apparently has uh, tons of talent. I don't know what's in the water over there, but um, Emily has asked that um, ODB's pissed. She works for the uh, she works for the parks department. And uh, they're closing down. What, what are you what are you waving down? Chris? I don't have the bell. I was ringing the bell, but it's not in front of me. What did he, what did he say? What's in the water on Staten Island? I said ODB's piss. <laughs> that was a good one. Nice. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> but um, uh, she asked that I share this link that yeah, all you have to do is go and sign a petition. Uh, it's New Yorkers for Parks. Go to ny4p.org. That's ny4p.org. And just sign the petition to, to give some funding to the parks uh, because apparently uh, – she can't work, and and no one at the parks department who has a job that can work, and uh, Ron Swanson and Leslie Nope are unavailable to help. So, hopefully, you guys can uh, go there and just sign a petition. I think you have to be in the five boroughs to do it. Um, but once again, go to ny4p.org. And uh, Jeff, do you have anything you you want to promote? Uh, well, I'll just echo uh, Kevin's promotion of Mad Scientist Party Hour. I also and another podcast. There you go. That's what I'm setting you up for, kid. I'm also doing another podcast called Fade the Media with my uh, buddy Azza Villalobos. We record every Wednesday night, pr- publish it every Thursday morning. It's uh, mostly a sports and hip hop focused uh, podcast. It's a you- good. I was going to say you have lots of opinions on, on sports and, and hip hop. Is that something? Some. I, I, I more tee up his hip hop opinions. I have a lot more sports opinions. Oh, never would have guessed. But you think Kanye West is, is one of the best, right? No, you used to. I'm not like a rapper. I, I think Kanye West yeah. is awesome. Like I think he's a he's a great uh, artist. Like uh, I think he produces great music, but not as like a rapper. Not as an MC, he's pretty. I think he looks really thick say. these days. Yeah, he's getting chubby as fuck. Oh no, I mean thick like curvy, like looking good. 
Yeah, I think <laughs> yeah, who's the best rapper right now? I don't know. This is you got, you gotta have an answer. On the, you're gonna be on the sports and hip hop show. You're gonna have to I, I think up. Kendrick Lamar, but he hasn't yes. put on he hasn't put on an album in years. Or Kendrick Lamar uh, like is a year and a half. Right. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar is the best rapper. It's just, he's we're kind of waiting for his album to come out. Jay Cole is up in the conversation. The new Run the Jewel uh, Run the Jewels album, Run the Jewels Four or RTJ Four, was being hailed as a ma masterpiece already. It's pretty sick plays like a South Park episode. It's very current. It's like they wrote it the past like week. So I got like almost like uh, protest themes in it and stuff like that. It's really good. But yeah, it's kind of I serve up the, the So you can go to the whole podcast dot com. <laughs> go there for the out. Uh, you can also subscribe to our show on iTunes. <laughs> so you can subscribe to our show on iTunes as well. Jeff, you're back up. But yeah, check out Jeff's um, <laughs> Jeff's podcast, Fade the Media. Um, I'm on his mailing list, and every email, every week, a new episode comes out, and it just starts out. Hey, homies. Hey, homies. Check out Thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for plugging that for me. I could have went for another like two hours. Thank you for computing <laughs> me, too. <laughs> I, I, I know what to do. Yeah. I'd but, love to go through my top 10 favorite rappers. <laughs> like, uh, Kev, I love you. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, you know, it's been a long time since uh, yeah. you did a show with us. So I miss yeah. bullshit with you guys. Yeah, same here, man. Same here. And, uh, beard grew grew here. In, as we've been here. Huh? <laughs> Kevin's beard grew like another inch since we've been on air. Good. The light, even the lighting changer is it's growing like the wolf man. It's teen wolf. <laughs> His arms gonna <laughs> start going. <laughs> He's just gonna turn into a Florida man. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm about to start shitting and jacking off. <laughs> well, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn on the notifications, uh, thewholepodcast.com. And once again, uh, we are on Twitch now. So if anyone who has Twitch, you can watch the show live on Twitch as well. Um, we're coming back next week with, uh, once again, uh, Noel Kassler. And he worked on The Apprentice for years. He's got a major amounts of shit to dish on Trump and how he was behind the scenes and how he really is. And uh, I can't wait to hear all of that stuff. I read the article and I just, I was like, I got to get this guy on. So uh, he'll be on next week. Uh, check uh, all of our feeds and our Twitter, the whole podcast. And we have a uh, whole podcast fan group on uh, Facebook. Check that out and uh, subscribe to it. And we'll let you know when the next show is. But it'll probably be, Chris, do you know now, Thursday or Friday? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll let, we'll let you know early next week. So uh, we'll yeah. know by Wednesday next week. Yeah, we'll, we'll know by, by Saturday. We'll have no <laughs> what day it was. Give us plenty of time to prepare. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, Chris, get working on all that stuff. <laughs> and Jeff, thank you also for joining us. I'm, I'm uh, you're a good sport. You love you're fun to break balls, and that's you know it's not that easy to find people who are fun with that. I don't know if it's just because you're slow or whatever it is, but I <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Starting shot. Sure. Yeah. Because I'm slow. He's the P best. The P best of the hole. Anyway, Wait, now, yeah, now show him how you can use it. Wait, Rob, show him how you play the guitar now. <laughs> really shit on his dreams. Amarillo. Oh, <laughs> no. oh, what do you mean? Like, stop doing ripping solo? Yeah, just start fucking, just start wailing. <laughs> next time. Next time. I have to set that up. It takes it's not that easy. Anyway, uh, so um, uh, guys, just stick around one more second. Uh, thank you for listening to the whole. I am Rob Sprans. Courtney Love. Lori Levine. Okay. Franco <laughs> Valley. Kevin Kraft. Jeff Clark. Later, motherfucks. Uh,